all of the bumps and and the road and all of the sad times and all the times that I've wanted to quit or wanted to go back to what I was doing before. Like you, I feel like you guys don't understand this, but you guys are the reason that I never quit. You guys are the reason that I still do what I do. You guys are the reason that I want to post every day because I know that at the end of the day, you guys care about me. Charlie D'Amelio. If you have never heard the name Charlie D'Amelio, then you may have been living under a rock. She is currently the reigning queen of TikTok after passing 100 million followers in her first year. But as much as you may love this social media star, we bet there are a few things you don't know about her. But don't worry, we're here to fix that in today's video by revealing to you the best unknown facts about Charlie D'Amelio. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you're a fan of Charlie. Also, if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Number 8. She never planned to be social media famous Charlie D'Amelio is one of those few people who wake up one morning and discover that their life is about to change forever. We have always heard parents and teachers talk about burning the midnight oil and working super hard to become rich and famous. But that was in the era before social media. Now it takes just one viral post to become a social media star, signing multi-million dollar contracts and becoming the face of top brands around the world. That was the case with Charlie D'Amelio. The reigning queen of TikTok started with just about 20 followers and it grew between June and August 2019 to more than 100,000 followers. It all started with a simple dance duet with Move With Joy. All Charlie did was follow the easy dance routine and the internet fell in love with her dance moves. Now she's big on content creation, trying to come up with something unique for her fans every day. It's 2021 and she has more than 50 million followers and counting. The TikTok star decided to spread her wings to other social media platforms, including YouTube. In November 2019, she got a little bit serious with her YouTube channel, where she has uploaded more than five videos and has millions of subscribers as well. Her first YouTube blog was about her meet and greet. She wanted her followers to donate to a carnival that benefits children with developmental disabilities. She also did a video with Noah Schnapp, who tried to teach her how to act while Charlie taught him how to dance. It was a bit awkward in the beginning, but they quickly became friends. For Charlie, it was like she woke up to fame. Is it really that easy? Number 7. First TikTok star to appear in a Super Bowl commercial Charlie's regular life was all about school, dance, and family. She's always been a dancer, and it's no surprise that this is what brought her to the limelight. She started dancing when she was just three years old and even participated in tons of dance competitions. In the Diva Dance Regional Dance Competition in Connecticut, Charlie became the overall title winner at just five years old. Then there is TikTok. The good thing about this social media app is that you don't have to be a professional dancer to get on most of the challenges. Being a professional dancer was a super plus for Charlie, and this has been her ultimate goal. When she became famous on TikTok, it was the perfect time to revisit one of her lifelong dreams to meet Jennifer Lopez. It all started with the opportunity to share the stage with Bibi Raha at the Barclays Center. This was during the opening act for the Jonas Brothers, and Charlie was super excited about this. However, she was even happier when she finally achieved her dream of meeting Jennifer Lopez. They even got to share the Super Bowl stage, a feat that hasn't been done by any other TikTok star. Number 6. She is a victim of bullying One thing that a lot of celebrities get a lot of is bullying. Fame comes with hundreds of unsolicited opinions about the lives and actions of celebs, and it's no different for Charlie D'Amelio. Surprisingly, her first set of scandals were not so long after she became famous. It was a controversy surrounding the renegade dance. So here's the thing about TikTok. There are always lots of dance challenges where people have to repeat a set of dance moves to a popular song. This is a trend that even adults get on, and Charlie decided to do this with the renegade dance. Except she didn't acknowledge the person who invented the choreography, but passed it off as hers. This annoyed a lot of fans, who felt that this was stealing and completely unfair on the creator. Eventually, after many bullying and hate comments, she acknowledged the dance creator, and all was right with the world until the next scandal resurfaced. This time she offended the cosplay community when she participated in a dance challenge with Maddie Monroe. 
This challenge was seen as a form of bullying and offensive to the cosplay community. They were having none of it. So what exactly did Charlie do? Apparently, the dance like an anime character challenge was a huge trend, and Charlie mocked the anime characters by exaggerating their movements. The backlash got her to delete the video and apologize for her actions. Sadly, the bullying didn't start when she got famous, but Charlie has always been a victim of this, even from elementary school. When she became famous, classmates still recorded her walking to class and shared this in private Snapchat stories. Thankfully, she says the bullying doesn't get to her as much as before. Number 5. She loves giving to charity Charlie believes in giving back to the community as much as she can. That's why she decided to have a local meet and greet where she could hang out with a few fans. At first, she received a lot of backlash for charging $100 for the VIP experience. Everyone felt that this was too expensive and was only a means of exploiting her loving fans. However, she later revealed that the money was meant to be donated to charity, while part of it was later used to cater to her security. This was necessary as there was a huge turnout, and many of her fans were willing to tear her apart out of excitement. The success of the first meet and greet led to a second one, this time at the Arch Street Teen Center in Connecticut. Her sister and fellow TikToker Dixie D'Amelio was also in attendance. Again, a huge chunk of the money gotten from this event went to the Teen Center as a charitable donation from the TikTok star. Number 4. She did not want to be homeschooled When people become famous, they have to change a lot of things about their lives. They can't take a casual stroll as much as before because that could turn into a paparazzi show fest. Dressing in overly casual clothes could have them trending on the internet with people speculating and dropping millions of conspiracy theories about being poor. That's the kind of life Charlie got introduced to. Although her mom still makes sure she does the dishes and cleans the house like everyone else in her home, she decided not to be homeschooled. The teen star opted to attend a private school in Connecticut when it was clear that her public school was not conducive enough for her. Back there were jealous classmates and people who were always in her space. Her private school has always got some psychos who would go to any lengths just to meet her and get a photograph, although we guess it's much better here since she's still attending classes in this school. Number 3. She is a member of the Hype House TikTok is also famous for having celebrities who create houses where content creators live together. A popular one is Hype House, created by a few famous faces on the social media app. Located in Los Angeles, these stars live together and spend a lot of time coming up with new videos to help keep their fans happy. Although Charlie DeMelo is not old enough to live in the Hype House permanently, she still shuttles between there and where she lives with her family. Hype House is filled with drama, and Charlie is usually at the center of a lot of them. Number 2. Charlie is worth as much as a million dollars For this ambitious and talented star born in May 2004, social media has become her ticket to the life of the wealthy and famous. The TikTok star is currently worth more than a million dollars, and it doesn't look like this will be going lower anytime soon. Of course, her major moneymaker is TikTok, where she first shot into the limelight. However, she has spread her wings to YouTube and Instagram, where she earns thousands of dollars from sponsorships and advertisements for notable brands. Her videos got as much as a million views daily, and that's something any brand would want to take advantage of. As her views keep growing, so do her rates and her account balance. Number 1. She is obsessed with Dunkin' Donuts We all have that one favorite thing that we can't do without. For Charlie, it's Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee. If you check out any of her videos, you'll almost always see a large cup of Dunkin' iced coffee lying around. Charlie admits that she takes as much as three cups every day. Her favorite is a cold brew with caramel and whole milk. It doesn't sound so fancy, but she gets a huge kick out of it. And then the Dunkin' Donuts company finally found out about Charlie's little obsession. So what did they do? Being the reigning queen of TikTok with a lot of clout and viewership, they got into the picture by giving her some incredible gifts, including a massive coffee dispenser. She also got branded candles, fanny packs, and a coffee chain. Perks of being famous. And that brings us to the end of today's list. Do you think Charlie DeMelo deserves to be famous, or did she just get lucky? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you're a big fan of Charlie. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.